Hi guys, if you haven't heard about Notebook LM from Google yet, you are in for something really cool. And I'm very excited to introduce this tool to you. And now if you have written a book, created a course, or even have a website you want people to get hyped about, I've got something you are going to love. And the best part is totally free. First, head to notebooklm.google and create a new notebook in Notebook LM. And you might be wondering why do I need this? Well, you have probably used chatbots before like ChatGPT and you know you type in something and it gives you an answer based on what it knows. But with this tool, you can make a chatbot that's all about your stuff. Yep, it will be based on the content that you provide. For example, I dropped a Google Doc file of a term paper I wrote a while back about online misogyny. And now Notebook knows everything in my term paper. So now I can create FAQs, briefing doc, table of content, or study guides for my term paper, all with just one click. So you can see, for example, with the FAQs that I have created here is scanned through all my 10 pages term paper. And it gave me some FAQs based on the content and also included the answers for me to refer to. Very perfect. Or here I can even ask a specific question about the term, the content of my term paper. For example, I will ask who is the main subject of research on this term paper. And it will not only give me a great answer, but it will even tell me exactly where in the term paper it found that information. And this tool is especially useful for students, writers, researchers, or anyone who needs to, you know, dig through a lot of text but wants a more quicker, more personalized way to get insights or answers. Okay, this is where things can get to the next level. You can use this tool to create an actual podcast. Like let's say you have a book, an event, or an idea you want to share. So you just need to upload your stuff and then hit this deep dive conversation button and it will create an audio podcast interview with two AI hosts who are super into whatever you are talking about. And the podcast duration is around 5 to 15 minutes depending on how much information you give this to and it is ready to go. No advertisement or intro music, just straight up content and you could even edit it later if you want to add some more personal touches. And in this case, I only uploaded that one Google file to change this notebook. But if you want to add more, uh, click this add sources and you will get 50 different sources you can add. And I have only used one. So if I had PowerPoint slides that I already done on this paper or any other supplemental things that I wanted to add in addition to the paper to make all of this content more interesting. So now is come up with a recording. So let's just listen to the first part of it. All right, strap yourselves in because we are diving deep into some, well, pretty heavy stuff today. Online misogyny in Vietnam. And not just in theory, we're talking real life, down and dirty, this is actually happening stuff. Yeah, we're getting into the nitty gritty of it all through this academic paper we've got here, analyzing, get this actual Facebook comments. Which is fascinating because you get to see the mechanisms of misogyny playing out in such raw detail. It's kind of like a backstage pass to the worst corners of the internet, really. <laughs> but someone's got to do it, right? Yeah. So specifically, we're looking at how this all plays out for female artists. And the artist in the spotlight for this study is Nguyen Tao Lynch. She goes by Taglin, a rising star in the Vietnamese music scene. And, you know, someone who really isn't afraid to push some boundaries, which unfortunately often makes women a target for this kind of backlash. Right? Absolutely. It's like they're trying to like control their expression, shove them back into some box. So unbelievable. Just a real conversation that sounds totally natural. And now I wouldn't say it's not 100% perfect, but I wouldn't give it like 95%. The two hosts discard every single aspect of misogyny in my term paper. For example, body shaming, women's objectification, and sexual harassment. They went into detail not just covering the surface meaning, 
and they even showed genuine reactions to the hateful action of men against female artists that I have mentioned in my term paper, and it was so so impressive. And all right, I'm guessing by now you are already ready to try these two out, so I will wrap it up. And if you enjoy messing around with air tools like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel because we will talk about stuff like this all the time. And now go ahead, give Noble LM a try, and let me know what you come up with in the comments down below. So see you in the next video.